Good morning, friends. Welcome to our MS session, Unit Three. Right. Okay. Good morning to all. Our MS Unit Three important sections. MS Unit Three important sessions. Uh, already we discussed these things: uh, functions of HR manager or functions of HR management. In the session, uh, already we told you. I told you that uh, uh, HR functions are divided into two types: managerial functions and operative functions. Managerial functions uh, belongs to five categories: planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling. And coming to the next thing, the operative functions. Operative functions are procurement, development, compensation, maintenance, motivation, and integration. Planning means the predetermination of future course of actions, and estimation of time and estimation of cost for the future, and who to do, where to do, when to do, how to do, who to do, whom to do. These are already these questions are also comes under in this planning session. And coming to the next uh, organizing. Uh, organizing means here. Grouping of all activities and select a suitable candidate for each and every group, and uh, giving the authority and responsibility to each and every person, and review their performances. These all activities are for uh, comes under in this organizing. Staffing. This staffing function is totally belongs to this operative function. So staffing is purely related to these operative functions. So next, coming to the direction. Direction means we give directions to the key persons. So, so here, give the directions and give the guidelines to the key persons about how to save time and how to save the cost and how to don't waste time and don't don't waste the costs. So these are the directions and guidelines given by the top level management to the key persons. Which are allotted to different groups of activities. So these uh, directions is based upon three uh, different ways. First one is motivation, and second one is proper communication, and third one is uh, the leadership, the leading a team, the leader. So through the leadership and uh, through the motivation and through the communication, we can give the directions and we we can give the uh, guidelines to the key persons towards the achievement of the goal of the company. Right, and next, finally, controlling them. This controlling is we have the four sub activities. So the first one is uh, preparation of the standards or plans, and uh, measure our actual performance. And the third thing is identify the gap between these two, one and two. If gap is there between our actual performance and planned performance, between gap is there, then we need to fill the Particular gap that is the process uh, is here controlling it. That is the process is, is here controlling it. So these are the few functions uh, related to the manager functions, and it is uh, one of the part of functions of human resource management. And next one is operative functions. Uh, already we discussed these things. Procurement means here select a suitable candidate and HR planning, recruitment and selection a suitable candidate. These three things are concerned here. And coming to the next one is after completion of procurement, after completion of suitable selector, selected candidate, then we will give them the training facility to them and plan for their career development. And coming to the next point is here compensation. Compensation means uh, the fixed salaries or wages towards the efforts of the customer, um, the employees. That is called as here compensation. So give the compensation or give the money or salary or wages to the efforts put by the employees or the workers. That benefit of their efforts is here compensation. So next maintenance of the company and their motivation to encourage the employees towards achieve the targets of the company. That is called as here motivation. And the next uh, last thing is here integration. Integration means equality, no favoritisms and no partialities towards <coughs> company proper works. 
right integration maintain integrity or maintain equality between the employees so this is all about uh, functions of hrm so already we discussed this performance appraisal methods ranking method paired comparison grading uh, force distribution force choice checklist uh, critical incident method graphical scaling method essay rating method field review and these are the modern methods uh, mbo target based activities bars behavioral and cohort rating scale next uh, assessment centers 3d 360 degree rating method cost accounting or hr accounting methods so these all traditional modern methods are used for check the performance of each and every candidate or each and every employee so that is called as here performance appraisal performance appraisal methods so through these methods through these methods we can check the performance of uh, each and every candidate or each and every employee of the company so if uh, the employee's performance is good then we will give the promotions and increments to them if the performance is bad of a particular employee then we will give the retraining facility or and again we check the performance if again uh, the performance is bad for that particular employee then we will give them a counseling facility to them counseling provide counseling to them and check their performance after two or three months again the performance is bad of that particular employee then the company will give him golden shake hand golden shake hand means just to fire the pasture from the company right so if performance is good we give promotions and increments if performance is bad then provide retraining facility and provide counseling and then also they get uh, the bad performance of particular employee then the company departs from the company he will let him to go out right so this is all about the performance of pressure managers so now coming to the wage incentive plans today uh, we need to discuss about wage incentive plans so it is very very important topic from uh, our uh, third unit of ms wage incentive plans so here what is meant by here wage wage means the compensation or the payment or the amount giving to the workers for their efforts for their efforts that is called as here wage i want to repeat it again wage means a payment or money or compensation giving to the workers for their efforts that amount that amount that compensation is called as a wage so here our topic is wage incentives so here incentive means incentive means extra payment to the workers extra amount extra payment to the workers is called as here incentives so wage plus incentive wage plus incentive plan so that is called as wage incentive plans so here already we know wage so wage is the amount is fixed by the company wage is uh, uh, given by the company but here wage incentive means additional payment will provided to the company for the extra efforts the extra performance or extra benefit get or formed by the worker so that extra payment will give the uh, will given to the workers for their extra performance and extra efforts so how much extra benefit how much extra payment will give to the company or will give to the workers that type of planning is called as the here incentive plans incentive plans okay so in this wage incentives we have two types individual incentives and group incentives individual incentives means this incentives will provide to each and every worker 
based upon their performance their performance so each and every person individual person will get the compensation or will get the extra payment or will get the extra incentives by the company for his or her performance so that is called as incentive individual incentives so extra payment for each and every worker given by the company for the worker's performance next coming to the group incentives group incentives means extra payment incentives extra payment paid to the group of people or team teams each and every team will have the extra incentives based upon their performance their team performance right this this is called as group incentives so again individual incentives are divided into two types time based incentives out based incentives this is very important time based so time suppose the company fixes a standard time 8 hours duty or 10 hours duty or 12 hours duty working working hours so the company will fix the standard time standard time and compare and check the worker's performance based upon the standard time so what company fixes the standard time and worker what time he put their efforts enta time company fix chesindi worker enta time kashtapadutunnadu simply how much time fixes by the company and how much time will take the worker to accomplish his task his task that is called as actual time so here standard time fixed by the company actual time the worker put his efforts put his efforts for accomplishing of his work that is called as here actual time so here comparison between these two things standard time and actual time standard time and actual time so based upon this time standard time and actual time we give incentives or extra payment to the workers right once again i want to repeat it extra payment means here incentives so incentives will give to the workers individually based upon time based upon time so here the measurement is here standard time and actual time standard time and actual time comparison between these two and based upon this comparison result we will give incentives to the workers individually individually so this time based incentives these are the four plans we have halse he is one of the great person rowen he is another person he gave us a separate plan time based plan emerson he is another person he gave another plan and budox budox is a, one of the person one of the general manager of another company so these four persons gives their plans for incentives for extra payment we don't know how much amount how much extra payment we will give to the workers we don't know so just to be based upon time standard time and actual time compare between these two and give extra payment to the workers extra payment to the workers so these uh, uh, incentives fixation plans are here halse plan rowan's plan emerson's plan budox plan these are the four major plans particularly in time based incentives time based incentives right so we have next slide halse plan rowan emerson and budox okay just we have we will have uh, these plans for next slide right next output based tyler merrick and gant we have another slide tyler merrick and gant so and next group ends in this just we have two plans testaments scalman so here group based testaments scan all right so coming to here output based output output based incentives so already i told you incentive means extra payment 
incentives means extra payment giving to the workers based upon his excellent performance right extra payment this incentives we will attach with wages so wage plus incentives already told you so this incentives extra payment now here based upon output 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 means the standard output and compare with actual output the standard output is designed and is set by the company actual output is done by the worker is done by the worker right so here comparison between the standard output and actual output company fixation fixed the stand, standard output and the worker put his efforts and accomplish his work that is called as here actual output so comparison between standard output and actual output based upon these two we will give extra payment to the workers that is called as here output based output based incentives so this output based incentives we have three types of plans tailors plans merit plans and gaunt plans so these are the three very important plans in particularly output based incentives output based extra payments to the workers so coming to the group incentives in this individual incentives time based or output based these seven plans are used for giving extra payment or extra amount to the each and every individual workers but here this group incentives the extra payment will give to the group will give to the team right so based upon the team or group efficiencies based upon this extra payment will give the group based upon the group or team performances right so this group extra payment we have two plans that is pestman plans and scan law scan law scan law plans right so we go through one by one first coming to here time based incentives so extra payment we will give based upon time so here we have halse rovan emerson budax these are the four plans so coming to the next slide totally based upon time right so coming to the next slide so time based incentives time based incentives so here we have the halse rovan emerson efficiency and budax so here already i told you that time based time time based incentives so the company fixes the standard time and check the actual time done by the workers done by the workers so comparison between the standard time and actual time comparison between the standard time and actual time and based upon these two things we will give the extra payment or incentives to the workers with the wages right so here, look at here halse halse is one of the great person so he give some plan for how much amount we fixed to give the extra payment to the workers so here look at this point how is it standard time is fixed according to the past performance of the company so standard time is fixed by the company based upon the past performance and a task complete within or more than standard time estimates here standard time is paid guaranteed time wage at a normal rate if listen carefully if actual time is less than standard time then the worker will get bonus 50% of wages 50% of extra payment 
fifty percent of his wage is treated as incentives. Suppose wage per day four hundred rupees. So here fifty percent of incentive means four hundred into fifty percent. That means two hundred. So four hundred plus two hundred. This two hundred is called as here incentives. So finally, the worker will take and the amount is four hundred plus two hundred, six hundred rupees. Six hundred rupees. So this plan was developed by the wholesale, right? So once again, I want to repeat it. If actual time is less than standard time, then the company will give fifty percent of wages in the form of incentives. So that if the worker per day four hundred four hundred rupees wages, fifty percent means here two hundred. So the the worker the save time here saved the time here. Then the worker will get four hundred plus extra two hundred incentives six hundred six hundred six hundred rupees per day. So this plan is called as wholesale plan. So here standard time and actual time. Standard time and actual time. Same. It is uh, Roman's plan coming to the Roman's plan. It is similar to the wholesale. So here, look at this. Minimum time wage is guaranteed. So here, minimum time wage means in in the previous example, four hundred rupees. This four hundred rupees is guaranteed to the workers. But the performance of the workers, based upon the performance of the worker, the worker will get more money. More incentives with the, this four hundred minimum wage, right? So here also minimum time wage is guaranteed. This is the first uh, uh, assured. Next, uh, if the comp uh, the worker performance is good and the worker saves the time, saves the time, then ST is determined in advance. And ST means here standard time determined in advance. Same as here standard time fixed. By the past performance and by the company, same as as like this. Standard time is determined. Determined means decided. Standard time is decided in advance by the company. So here comparison between the standard time and actual time, right? So here bonus, the bonus proportion of the wage, which the time saved, time saved, bears to Standard time, where's to standard time? So here, please look at and please remember this thing. Rovan's plan, Rovan's extra payment plan, Rovan's incentive plan is based upon time saved. Time saved. How much the time saved? That much of incentive will get by the worker, right? Will get to the worker. So. Here, Hall say, if uh, normal time is less than standard time, then fifty percent bonus. But here, the worker time saved. If the worker time saved, then the worker will get the benefit, extra time, extra payment. Next, Emerson's efficiency plan. It is another time-based plan. So here, standard time is determined. Scientifically, so standard time is fixed, and standard time is decided by the company, right? So here, second point: minimum wage is guaranteed all the workers at the normal rate. Normal rate, minimum wage is guaranteed. Standard time fixed by the company. Here, bonus bonus is here standard time by time taken by the worker. Or simply standard time by actual time, standard time by actual time into hundred. Then we will get the result of how much time saved by the worker. So that result we will get. So the time saved by the worker, as much percentage of incentive he will get from the company. That is called as here Emerson efficiency plan. Next, coming to the last time-based plan is here Budox Budox point plan Budox point point plan. 
here standard time is set scientifically so standard time is fixed by the company so in this standard time and efficiency levels is here treated as b b b so b means here minutes standard time in in the form of b b means minutes so standard time is here fixed by the company in the form of minutes so how many minutes will have to accomplish a particular task right so next point minimum is guaranteed to all the workers so it is assurance the third one is if the task completed within or more than standard time the paid normal rate the bonus 75% please uh, remember this uh, percentage 75% of wages for the time saved time saved or paid to the bonus to the workers and 25% to the foreman foreman means here supervisor supervisor right so here bodox points here also the company fixes the standard time and compare with the actual time so here if actual time is less than standard time then the extra incentives will give to the worker but here the point is the worker if the worker time saved then the worker will get 75% of incentives and remaining 25% will get by the his supervisor right so look at here 75% of bonus will get to the worker but 25% of bonus will get to his foreman or supervisor so this is the bodox points so in this time based in this time based we have these four plans these four plans are totally based upon same thing standard time actual time standard time means how much time to take to accomplish a fixed task this is fixed by the company fixed by the company so standard time is fixed or determined by, by the company please remember this thing standard time is determined by the company so the worker actually done his work that time that actually uh, time time sorry actually time taken by the company uh, time taken by the worker to accomplish his task that time is called as here actual time once again i want to repeat it the worker how much time he will take to accomplish his particular task that time is called as here actual time actual time so here the common task these four are standard time and actual time comparison between these two if actual time is less than standard time then the incentives will company will give right to the company will give to the workers so hall say rowan emerson and budox these are the four but slight differences are there in this hall say if uh, time saved by the uh, time saved by the worker then the bonus 50% in this rowan time saved based upon time saved based upon the same proportion of how much percentage time saved and the same proportion of percentage the bonus will get by the worker to the worker right in this emerson's emerson's efficiency plan time saved here but it is a, we have the formula standard time by actual time into 100 so based upon that percentage the same percentage will get the benefit next bodox point if uh, the worker time saved then the worker will have 75% of bonus 
and 25% of bonus to the foreman or the supervisor right so here also if time saved by the worker then the worker will have 50% bonus if foreman if time saved by the worker that same percentage benefit the worker will have emerson efficiency plan just we have the formula based upon the formula we have we will get the result of percentage the same percentage of uh, uh, time saved that same percentage benefit will have will have the worker next bodox if the time saved by the worker then 75% 75% of bonus we will get and 25% of bonus will get to the supervisor this is all about uh, time based plans time based plans and coming to the output based plans output based plans here it is purely based upon output output so here output means the production the output per day how much products the worker produced produced so that is actual output but with this comparison between here uh, the comparison between these two points here standard output and actual output standard output means the company fixes the output how much products each and every worker should produce in a day in a day that is called as here standard output per day in the tayar jayati so how much products will produce in a per day so this products is determined by the company please remember this thing but here actual output means the actually the worker put his efforts and actually how many products produced by the worker in a day actual output and standard output comparison between these two things are here so output based incentive plans so standard output and actual output comparison between these two so first one is fw tyler so he gives some comparison between these two so inferior or fresher workers who were unable to reach output so he divided the total workers into two groups efficient workers inefficient workers or inferior workers or fresh workers so he fw taylor is one of the major uh, great personality he divided the total workers into two teams so first team efficient workers and second team inferior or efficient inefficiency people or fresher people fresh workers so divided into fresh workers and effective workers so this plan output based plan is used for first category efficient workers and and no uh, no need to concentrate upon these fresh workers so this uh, plan is uh, developed by fw tyler and next coming to the merrix merrix output plan so here the workers reaching up to the 70% 100% 120% of the output standards of the above system so here please look at here standard output actual output standard output is fixed by the company and actual output means the actually the worker performed and produced output actually put his efforts and produced in a day that is called as actual output so comparison between two these two if listen carefully if standard output is higher than actual output that is called as here 70% standard output is higher than actual output that is called as here 70% then the worker can't reach the standard output then the worker will no incentives the worker will have no incentives suppose if take the take the here 100% means the standard output is equal to actual output standard output is equal to 
actual output than the 100%. So in this case, the worker will reach his target. Means the worker produced actual output and standard output both are same. Then the worker will give normal benefit. So wage plus normal incentives. So in the case of 120%, in the case of 120% means here, standard output is less than actual output. Standard output is less than actual output. So here in this case, the worker produce more, the worker produce more and the worker will give the more output than standard output. Then the worker will get a extra bonus wage normal way normal incentives plus extra incentives so, so these three will get by the uh, this uh, efficient worker right so here we we need to mention three these um, three percentages 70 percent means standard output is very high actual output is very low in this 100 percent means here standard output and actual output is same here 120 means Standard output is less than actual output. So standard output, actual output. And standard output, actual output. And small uh, standard output is less than actual output. These three categories. So workers are divided into these three categories. This plan was developed by the Merrick and Gantt, Gantt task. So here it is simply than merits. It is simple than merits. So here's uh, in this client, this Gantt, just to do, uh, just give two things: standard output and actual output. Compare between these two. If the worker reaches standard output, then he will get normal benefit. If the worker gives his, his uh, actual output is more than standard output, then he will get more incentives. Just uh, these two categories are given here. If standard output and actual output is equal, then the worker will have the normal incentives. If the worker, if uh, standard output is uh, greater than, sorry, standard output is less than actual output, then the worker will have more benefits, more incentives. This plan is given by the GAN task. So Tyler's merit and GAN task is based upon output based. Right? We are coming to group incentives. So in this group incentive, it's a bonus paid to the in proportional in excess of standard output per week. So this Priestman plan is here, standard output and actual output. If actual output is higher than standard output, then the bonus will give this particular total team, total group. So this plan is given by the Priestman. So here comparison between standard output and actual output. So actual output is higher than standard output, per week, then the bonus or then incentives will give to the specific group, not for individual person, right? This, this is plan is for, for, uh, given by the priest plans. And next coming to the scan loans, scan loans plan. So here it is uh, only based upon improve the their performance and productivity, improve the workers performance and productivity. So productivity means here, produce more with minimum cost. Produce more with minimum cost is called as here productivity. So for maintain productivity and improve the performance of the workers, then based upon these two things, then we will give extra incentives, extra payment to the workers, extra payment to the workers, right? So, we discussed in this thing wage incentives. Wage means the compensation or money we will, will uh, we give to the workers based upon his efforts. 
So incentive means extra payments with the wage, extra benefits will give to the workers based upon his uh, performance. That is called as incentives. So here wage incentives, we have three types, uh, two types, individual incentives, group incentives. Individual incentives, we have another two types, time-based and output-based. Time-based means standard, standard time, actual time, comparison between these two. Uh, output based means standard output and actual output comparison between these two. Based upon this thing, we will give extra payment to the workers. Uh, coming to the group incentives, uh, so comparison between the standard outputs and actual outputs, we will give the extra payment to the workers, uh, group of people that, uh, that is given by the priestman. Priestman. And the uh, uh, second plan, plan is here, group incentives. Second uh, plan is here, cancel on. So here, to improve the performance of the workers, and second thing is, and the second thing is, improve the productivity. Based upon the, these two things, we will give extra payment to that particular team or that particular group. So this is all about wage incentives. This topic is very, very important from touting it. Please remember this thing, right? Okay, guys, thanks for listening. Stay home, stay safe. Bye, relax.